This is my working model of a Shadulf. Um, in order to build the prototype here, I've actually used clay as a base. Um, we've got the clay built up here, then going down to a riverbed, and I've used some glass beads to represent the water in the river. Um, here is a half a piece of bamboo, which represents a canal system that the ancient Egyptians would have developed. Um, the canals actually ran from the river right through inland to their crops, um, and there would have been a series of canals, and this basically helped in the irrigation process. Um, at one end of the shaduf, there's a counterweight. Um, I've made the counterweight from as, out of a stone with just a piece of cloth, um, and that's attached then to the sticks of the shaduf with, um, with wool, in this case. Um, in the middle of the shaduf, probably one of the most important parts of the design, is the lever. Now the lever is just a loop of rope which wraps around the, the central post here. Um, that allows the shaduf to move from side to side so that, river can, so that water can be collected from the river, pardon me, um, and transferred around to the canal quite easily um, so that it can then, the farmer can then easily empty his bucket into the canal system. Um, the farmer could have used either a counterweight to manoeuvre but in most cases what they do is hold on to this fixed pole here, which gives them a lot more flexibility. By using, sorry, by using the pebbles, um, we can also demonstrate to the children the idea of a counterweight. So when the bucket's emptied, the counterweight pulls it up. When we pull with the pole and fill it up, which unfortunately I can't do with one hand while I'm taping, but when we then fill it up with pebbles, we can observe that gradually our counterweight at the other end will lift up. Oops. Such. Um, so this is my working model of an ancient Egyptian shadow. Thank you.